It is December 20th, 2023, and Sony has announced that they have sold 50 million PlayStation 5s worldwide. Congratulations to you, Sony, and that is a massive feat. Now, into this generation, we have seen Sony garnered great success with your PlayStation 5 console. The haptics that you get from the DualShock 5, well, I should say the DualSense controller, is remarkable. And with that, this console is really amazing. We see now it is the preferred platform for developers. Most developers are pushing for their games to look and play the best on PlayStation 5, even though it's less powerful than the Xbox Series X on paper. And for Sony to hit 50 million in three years, it's, it's amazing. If they continue this momentum, they should reach at least 100 million within the next three years, which would be like six years into the generation. And we know a console generation normally lasts anywhere from seven, well, six or six, seven to 10 years, thereabout. Now, I'm very, you know, happy for Sony. I am a PlayStation fan, even though I don't own a PlayStation 5 right now, and I'm kind of working on getting one. But the thing is that that's concerning to me is that Xbox, on the other hand, we haven't really seen much reports of sales, sales numbers from the Xbox Series X or Series S. The only thing we can do at this point is estimate or take a, a guess or a shot in the dark as to what the Xbox sales are looking like. And if I were to guess, I would say it's probably half of what Sony has. And if on the better end of things, we might see Xbox at around 30 million sales worldwide. So with good graces, I'll say Xbox is at 30 million sales of the Xbox console. That's mean an average 10 million sales per year since launch. Sony has been doing better um, in this feat. They're selling more consoles because they're pushing out games that, you know, customers want to play and they can only get these experiences on the PlayStation. When it comes on to Xbox, you have options. Most of the games that are on Xbox are also on PC and some are now on PlayStation. So you get to think, why do you need an Xbox if you already have a PC? Say you have a PC that's capable of playing video games at like 1080p, 60 FPS or higher, then it defeats the purpose of getting an actual Xbox console. And with Game Pass now available on PC, you're like, okay, I pay 10 bucks a month and I get access to all of these games on PC with free online multiplayer. But I would allow myself down to a console. So Microsoft, I don't think they're too worried about the sales of their console. What they're most um, concerned about is the sales of their services. And the big service that they got going for them right now is Game Pass. So I want to see, you know, Sony do what they do. And I want to see Microsoft do what they do because competition is good and it's, you know, really good for the consumers. There's some things that I don't like about Xbox and there's some things that I don't like about PlayStation. But however, um, you know, I may feel about each of their shortcomings. I do think that the rivalry and the competition between both platform holders is good for the consumers at the end of the day. Now, the Nintendo Switch, on the other hand, has been very successful, but people don't normally group it in with the Xbox and PlayStation because it's not as powerful. However, Nintendo has created a lot of amazing games and their games are fun to play. Now, these games hold their prices. You rarely see Nintendo games go on sale and that's a good thing. These games have value and a lot of people buy into them and the fact that they can get a Switch now and take their games with them pretty much wherever they go, it's amazing. So I do want to see Nintendo continue this Switch line and hopefully the Switch 2, you know, is going to be more powerful. It's, that's a given. It's going to be more powerful than the, um, the current Switch. But my biggest gripe with the Switch is battery life, more so than power. I don't want to be playing a game and then I get into the story and I'm just like two hours in and the story starts to get good. And then my Switch dies. 
so I'm expecting better battery life on the switch I say anywhere from four to six hours or better of battery life while playing AAA games on the switch would be amazing hopefully they can also do that and keep the weight down on the console now if you haven't gotten a switch PlayStation or Xbox as yet uh, let me know what's holding you back are you playing on PC are you not a console fan let me know but this video is mostly you know surrounded around Sony and their success and I am very curious to see where the PlayStation will go within the next year when we see more of their um, AAA titles get released such as the likes of um, we, we should get like the Wolverine game very soon I hear there is, is a Venom game being developed by Insomniac as well like Insomniac is a, is a great developer under Sony they're like really really good and they're pushing out a lot of games Spider-Man has sold millions of units millions of PlayStation consoles have been sold with Spider-Man and millions of console has been sold because of Spider-Man and I know a lot of um, consumers are very excited to see what else happens into the Spider-Verse and also into the you know Marvel MCU um, universe that Sony is building up I also want to see what will happen with some of their um, franchise that um, got green light on the PlayStation 4. One of my favorites is Days Gone and I would love to see a sequel to that. However, I hear that Sony Ben is on to you know different things and they're more now of a supporting studio. I would love for them to go back to creating their original content and creating a sequel to the Days Gone franchise. Or video game because it's not a franchise as yet but I hope to see it reach that place one day another favorite game that I have on the um, PlayStation 4 or that I think is a good game but it's a bit underrated is the order 1886 I think that's a wonderful game and yeah it might have been a bit clunky and stuff but I think it has a lot of potential and I hope Sony will give it another chance we also want to see the likes of a Bloodborne 2 and personally for me again I enjoyed um, Until Dawn I think that was an amazing game brilliant storytelling and the fact that how you play the game you know resulted in like the end result or the end of the story may be different for each player that was awesome another game that is similar to that is Detroit Become Human I'd love to see a sequel for that but that is <laughs> most unlikely but I love to see a sequel for that on the PlayStation. And I hope Sony just continue to push out great games. And if there's anything else they can do with God of War, sure. I'd like to see that. We're also going to probably be expecting a Last of Us 3 very soon. But these games, they take time. They take time to develop. It's not like the PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 2 generation where you know you could get a new game from Sony every year or every two years. Now nah, these games is taking like four, five, six years, a whole generation to create. They're games that were started on the PlayStation 4 and then got pushed over to the PlayStation 5. They started development on the PlayStation 4 generation and they never released on the PlayStation 4. They decided to push that game over to the PlayStation 5 platform. And it's the same thing on Xbox. The only company I see still pushing out games, you know, quite frequently. Is Nintendo Nintendo is creating you know smaller titles they're less technical you know to develop and they can push these out you know very very soon these games are more fun to play in my opinion they're not like big open world games you know they're platformers you know they're story games they're you know RPG games and they work they work for the Nintendo platform so I just want to see each company you know playing to their strengths and for us to have healthy competition in gaming. Now, let me know what you think about, you know, Sony finally hitting 50 million, and what do you think it's going to be like in the next two or three years um, as it relates to Sony sales and how they're going to affect the market when it comes on to, you know, competition in the video game space. I'm very excited to see where things go, and I hope to see Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo do well because competition is always good for the consumer. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like. 
share with a friend who likes tech. And until then, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.